Hello, here we are again with a, uh, a new video. Um, this is a standard setup uh, with uh, Wing Reaper Automate and uh, a Reaper running. And basically the door control is automatically selected when you start Wing Reaper Automate with the uh, control section only of the uh, MCU. So we have all the faders down. Uh, there is no specific routing set for this demo, so it's very basic. Um, and we have the uh, uh, single custom control, but we are enabling now the left uh, section, which is a single um, control plus one of the extenders. So we have now control and we can actually play with the uh, left and right buttons uh, that will enable navigating through the Reaper tracks uh, directly. So this is giving a MIDI control over Reaper as opposed to Wing Reaper Automate. Uh, so I'm going back now to the, uh, the, the beginning of the uh, Reaper tracks. It's quite interesting actually because we can also uh, select uh, solo and mute tracks in Reaper and as you can see you can select multiple tracks in Reaper which is not uh, typically the, the case in, uh, in Wing. Um, and that's an interesting feature that can be uh, useful and of course if you go on the left side and select wing tracks uh, you can have both reaper tracks and wing tracks selected at the same time um, well reaper tracks and wing channels uh, selecting uh, selected at the same time um, all the reaper faders are at zero we are uh, recording a small automation at this point nothing fancy just moving two faders or four as you can see there is some audio playing in reaper on the the right side or middle section and the automation is recorded correctly so and you could still have a control on reaper tracks if that was necessary for your setup so that's quite interesting uh one of the uh reaper uh not Reaper, but Wing Automate Reaper customer has been asking for this, um, and I think it's uh, it's helpful uh, to show everyone that that can work. Thank you.